Hey everyone, I'm so excited to show you the brand new Pixie Dust Collection from Zoya for Spring. These were sent to me by the company. I just got them today and I was so excited that I literally ripped open the box, sat down and polished my nails. I am so excited about this collection. I say this every season, but this might be my favorite one so far. And I wanted to just focus on the Pixie Dust colors for this video. One, because I don't have the creams and the metallic shades that are coming, but two, I always get so many questions about Pixie Dust that I wanted to talk a little more in depth about how I apply it, what the recommended way is, and so forth. So, in this season's collection, there are only three colors. Usually they come out with six, but this time they came out with three, and these are really amazing colors. There is Cosmo, which is silver, and I'll show you more in a minute. There's Vega, which is the blue, and then there's Lux, which is the pink, which is also what's on my nails. And just to show you real quickly, I also did them on my little dial here. Um, so there, these are two coats, no top coat, no base coat. So that's the silver one, Cosmo. There's the pink one, Lux, and there's the blue one, Vega. Now what's special about these, what's different even from other Pixie Dust collections is they've added an additional hexagon shaped silver glitter and I'm going to just read right from the website what they tell me it is. It's a um, quartz sparkle textured Pixie Dust with mega hex iridescent particles. So imagine the best selling Zoya Pixie Dust formula amped up with larger glitter and the first ever holographic Pixie particle for a never before seen magical effect. This, so. Um, I will say this is, these are way more sparkly than previous Pixie Dust collections. I'm holding these up instead of my fingers for a reason. Um, but because the formulation has changed, um, these do apply a little bit differently. You're supposed to apply them, as with all Pixie Dust uh, nail polishes, over a clean nail, no base coat, and you do one thin coat and you let it dry. And then if you would like to have more opaque color, then you would add a second coat and possibly a third coat, waiting for each layer to dry as you do. Usually with Pixie Dust colors, I do two coats, three coats, I'm sorry. I usually do three coats to get a totally opaque nail, because that's my personal preference. I like a fully opaque nail. Um, this, um, this formulation is a lot thicker. It's a lot more textured. And so I found that I only needed two coats to get fully opaque. Now, because it is so much more textured and thicker, it is also, to me, a lot rougher feeling once it dries. Pre the other variations of it, the earlier versions of Pixie Dust, I didn't feel the need for a top coat and they recommend that you don't need one and, and if you want the true matte yet sparkly effect, you shouldn't put a top coat on. I personally feel like, for my comfort level, I um, needed to have a top coat on. I actually went so far as to put two top coats. And um, you can use any top coat that you would like. So um, anyway, I can still feel that it's bumpy, but it's a smoothness. It's not going to snag on anything. I did feel like these, these, my, these hexagon shaped glitter particles that are in here, while they add an amazing depth and light to the polish, do they, they are three dimensional. So if they're lifting up a little bit, if they're not laying flat, you know, you can feel that on the nail. So I like the top coat effect. Um, I think these are beautiful. I can't stop looking down at my fingers. I'm in front of a window, so they're really sparkling and I hope that picks up on camera. But I also feel like it's a very wearable shade for all but the more most conservative environments. Um, at least I'd say the silver and the pink. They're not too over the top. It's not a bright, crazy color. I would probably personally save the blue for my toenails. So um, I, I highly recommend this collection. I think it's really unique. It's really pretty. It's very ladylike and yet fun because of the, the shimmer. And um, they are available on their website at Zoya.com. I know Ulta usually carries the new seasonal line, so they should be in Ulta's now or very, very soon if not. These are a little more expensive than the regular Zoya nail polishes. These are $10 each. Um, but. I just, I, I love them and I cannot wait to do my toenails with the blue. So um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about how to apply them or anything about Zoya whatsoever, I should say that even though these are still, they're you know glittery and funky and new, they still are free of the big five chemicals that I can't pronounce. They're still the usual wonderful Zoya friendly 
um, products, but um, they are new as far as the amount of shimara. So very cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and let me know if you like these videos or if you just can't stand them or, you know, how you feel about them. And I will see you next week with more of my um, Grown Ass Women series. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.